Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to set up this um, three screen thing for our performance next Monday. Um, I have the code on the GitHub repo as usual, but I'll just walk you through this so that hopefully this is not too confusing. Um, basically, the way to set things up is we need to send things over Siphon. Um, and a lot of you have been using Siphon at this point. It's not an application, it's just a basically a protocol for passing textures uh, along the GPU. And basically it's like if I have a video or an image or something, I'm creating a max and I wanted to send it to MadMapper, which is exactly what we're doing for this performance, uh, you would use something like Siphon. You can also receive something uh, from Siphon and pass it into max. Um, and we have to run everything on the GPU in order for this to work. Siphon only works on the GPU. That being said, your code that you've been writing for these performances doesn't necessarily have to be on the GPU. It's just the final part we need to set up that it can hit the GPU. But everything that you do before should be about the same. If it's playing JIT Movie, if it's uh, doing JIT Percosa, any of that good stuff. Um, so. Right off the back, I'm going to make a JIT world. I'll call it lip. Um, you don't need to do this if you already have a JIT world. You don't want to have a second JIT world. This is just if you don't have any GPU stuff uh, at all, then you would need to start with this. If you already have a JIT world, then you should be uh, adjusting the code you already have to fit what I'm about to do. Um, and this is basically our GPU renderer. It also packs in the JIT window. Um, so this is JIT.GL render, JIT window, Q Metro. Um, like all of those things are kind of embedded in here and one simple object. Uh, so if I make a toggle and hook it up, that'll basically turn it on. And out of this middle one is where we get our draw bang. Uh, you may have seen me do this before send draw and basically it's just like sending out a bang as time that we were in time with the Q Metro um, and it's pretty normal max convention to say receive draw for like a chip movie and now everything is in sync especially if I have multiple ones rather than making a Q Metro for each one of these individual ones I can just uh, draw it off of this and now everything stays in sync um, the Biggest thing right here, so you see if I actually have this window right here, and it's called lip, that was created by this, I could like delete that and then reinstantiate it. Uh, if I delete it, you see it disappears. Um, and we can set the size here, I can say at size 3840 by 720, which gives us a massive window, uh, like larger than our screen actually in fact. But this is what we want, because the size of this window here is going to determine the size of our texture that comes out of Siphon. Um, so we need it to be, this is basically, we have three projectors at 1280 by 720. And since it's only horizontal, uh, we do 1280 times 3 equals 3840. So that's where we get 3840 by 720. Uh, and that's why it needs to be that size. Uh, we can also, it doesn't have to be this size specifically, we, as long as the ratio is the same. So I could also do 1920 by 360, and I could also do um, 960 by 180. Uh, and the, if you do this, it should all fit the aspect ratio of what we send the Mad Mapper, it just might be a little bit lower resolution. And you might also just get better performance, um, although keep in mind we're going to be running this on their computer, which is a pretty beefy computer. Um, but if you just want to set it up like this, also like, you can change it anytime. Size 384, 380, 3840 by 720. I'll just copy that. Hmm. 
now our window ooh, has disappeared. It's right here. And it's much smaller, obviously, but <coughs> this is the same aspect ratio. Um, so for most of you, I'm assuming you're going to be playing three movies. Uh, if you're doing something different, the lie of this code still applies. Um, but basically, you've probably, probably been doing things in JIT movie. Movie. And you have your read message, and you have your receive, draw. For some of you, this will just be the Q metro. Again, it doesn't matter too much. This is just more efficient if you just draw it off of our JIT world stuff. And then we have our JIT Geo video plane. Lip. And this is replacing your JIT window if you're not doing the uh, GPU stuff. Normally you have your movie, you render it to the window. Video plane is just a GL object that creates a video plane, like literally a plane of 2D information which will render a video in our 3D environment. Um, and we need to set this up this way in order to send it out over Siphon. But if you're currently playing a movie to JIT window, you would replace it with this, because this is taking care of our JIT window now. Um, and I could just copy-paste it like that. And, right, if I turn this on, also turn the floating on, And I can read a movie here. Um, let's see. All these good stuff in here. And we should be seeing these movies playing. Let's bring up our JIP window. It is not. So what have I done? Oh, right. There we go. Um, I had just deleted this and it just still stayed on. So here we go. We're receiving all our JIP movies. So this video plane is making a plane right here. Um, and what is going on. We're actually seeing all three, but these are all in the same position. So you can see if I do position uh, dollar sign one zero zero because I only need to move it on the x-axis. I can slide these around. So we're going to have to space all three of these out. And I actually know that this needs to be at position negative three zero zero. And that would mean this one would have to be at position positive three zero zero. And now we have our three movies kind of spaced out. Um, and then the last thing we have to do here is scale it because right now they are not the aspect ratio we need. So I can say at scale one point five one one. And this is essentially it. Like, this is our little mini big screens patch. Um, we got our movie here, we got our movie here, we got our movie here. Um, and the last thing we have to do is I have to turn all three of these movies into one large texture that can be passed over Siphon. And I'm going to do that with an object called jit.gl.node. Also call it lip. I'm just naming everything that's in this rendered by JIT world should also share this name. Uh, there's a weird convention you have to do with JIT GL node. It needs to make a subcontext. I wouldn't 
worry too much about that, but basically all you have to do is you have to give it a name, and that name has to be different than lip. You can just do name one. Uh, if you make multiple ones of these, you have to give each of them a different name. But the more important thing is you have to say capture one, because we're going to capture these 3D objects. Remember, even though these are two-dimensional planes, they're still 3D objects. Uh, and I'm going to use this. You can see the middle outlet says connect to 3D objects to draw to this JITGL node. Um, and something funny is going to happen when I hook it up. They're going to disappear, which is totally fine. That's just part of the behavior of this. It's capturing it and taking it out of the 3D environment. And then if I hook up this JIP-P window, it all turns into a texture. Everything that's hooked up and captured comes out of here as a texture now. And you can see I have this very squashed version, but essentially here's our super large texture that has all three of our movies playing. Um, and everything still works the same. I could read a different movie in here. Uh, and yeah, the last thing is we need to do jit.gl.siphon client. This is our external object that's actually going to send it over siphon, call it lip, and I'll give it a server name so that when it pops up on another application, this is what it will appear as. I'll just call it max to say that it's coming from max, and I'll hook it up there. Um, and this is all you have to do. You have to make sure that the window, you're going to keep this window here even though nothing's visible there anymore. Uh, but you want these three video planes, you want them spaced and scaled correctly, you want your JITGL node capturing them, turning them all into an individual texture, and then you want to send that texture over Siphon Client, which will be visible to MadMapper so we can map it to our installation. Um, if you want to view uh, you're pro like, you probably still want to see things as you're working on it. I really recommend downloading this thing called Simple Client. Uh, it's on the Siphon webpage. Um, and if you just look up Siphon and go to like VADE002, like the main page, there is a download link on it. Also the GitHub uh, repo for this class where I posted this uh, patch example has a link on it. But basically, um, what should be happening? Hmm. Did I make a mistake here? No, that looks like it's working. Basically, we're going to use this to tell if our code is working. And looking at this right now, it's telling us that no, it is not in fact working. So maybe I can debug this a little bit open the help file for this. Um, oh, yeah, duh. I used the wrong one. Client is when you're listening for something. We're serving, so I just need to do server. And now you can see that from max, we're receiving at server name max. And we have our texture that's 960 by 1080 at 35 frames per second at the moment. Uh, if I change the size here, this also changes to 3840 by 720. So the size here is determining the size of our texture that's passed along. Um, so yeah, if everything's working, you should just be seeing your uh, texture being passed around uh, over the GTL siphon server. If you don't, if you haven't installed it, you'll need to go to File, Show Package Manager. And this is where you install uh, any external libraries in Max. I think it should be. Oh, come on. There it is. On page three, siphon. And I think there should be an install button somewhere here if you haven't installed it. So, yeah, the biggest thing to take away <coughs> is your code still stays the same from here on out. Like, before it hits the GL video plane, um, you will be basically doing the same stuff that you were doing before, playing a movie, manipulating a movie. Uh, it gets a little trickier if you're using 3D objects, anything like GL grid shape, all that stuff. But essentially the same idea applies. You're going to 
capture it. So if I made a dip.gl grid shape at scale per lip at scale 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 at shape torus. If we go back to our um, actual max window here, it should be visible now. Yeah, we have a little torus in the middle of our whole thing. Uh, and we can just capture it like that. And now our torus is sitting on top of our video planes and is a part of our texture. So it's really just about hunting down everything you need to capture with this JITGL node, and you should be good to go. Um, that's everything you need to do. If you have if you have a hyper specific need outside of that, like if this doesn't apply to you, then you and I should have office hours and talk about how to incorporate this into your code. But um, just remember, set your window size, create the JIT world, have your video plane scaled and positioned properly, use JITGL node to capture it and turn it into a texture, and then send it out over Siphon. And you can check that it's working by using a simple client application that you can download from the Siphon website. Cool. Enjoy.